Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I just want to show you how to install Cano OS on your Raspberry Pi 1, 2, 3, and it may possibly even work on the Zero. I haven't tested it, but it shouldn't take you much time if you want to try it out. First thing we're going to need is to download Cano OS. It's 650 megabytes. It's already started here. I'll leave a link to everything I show you today. We'll just click download and it'll start downloading for us. So next thing I suggest you get is SD card formatter. Now when flashing images to an SD card, if we ever want to use that SD card in another computer or something like that, it will not show the correct capacity. It uses hidden formats EXT4, which Linux uses, and we cannot format it correctly using the built-in Windows formatter. So here is a card that I have flashed with Cano. This is a 16 gigabyte card, but if we take a look, it's only showing 662 megabytes used and 92 megabytes free. If I was to right click and format this card, and I'm just gonna name it boot. We're gonna format it FAT32. It's showing that the capacity is only 800, well, 755. We can format the card here. Now, if we go back to the SD card, it's now named boot, go to properties. It's only showing that the card is 750 megabytes. Let's open up SD card formatter and make sure you have your SD card chosen here. Boot, format, okay. What this is gonna do is bring it back to the 16 gigabytes. As you can see, the card is now 16 gigabytes, 14.9. If you have a fresh card, you will not need this until you're ready to use this SD card in another system. So we have Cano OS downloaded. I'm gonna drag it to my desktop. And this is a very, very simple install. What we're gonna do is find our SD card. And mine is named boot. I'm just gonna drag it over here. So here's my SD card. It's a 16 gigabyte Samsung class 10 card. We're gonna extract Cano OS to its own folder. Open it up. And we're just going to take everything out of that freshly extracted Cano OS, place it onto our SD card. Wait for it to transfer. We're almost done. All we need to do is place this SD card in our Raspberry Pi, boot it up, and it will continue the install automatically for us. All right, so now that we've copied all of the files from the Cano OS folder over to our SD card, it's now time to place our SD card in our Raspberry Pi and boot it up. You're going to need a keyboard and mouse also, obviously. I'm using a wireless Logitech, super cheap keyboard and mouse, and it works perfect. We're gonna be moving to the Raspberry Pi now. All right, guys, so I got an error resizing the existing fat partition. There is a quick fix to this. This is a big problem when running noobs or any kind of operating system that installs with noobs. Quick fix. Take the SD card out, place it back into your PC, and rename it. I just renamed mine AA. Two A's, put it back in, and it'll fix it. Okay, so it's going to resize the FAT partition, format, and install Cano. This can take a little while depending on the speed of your SD card. Just let it sit. It'll finish installing. This is a class 10 card, and it's still kind of slow. As you can see, we're writing at 1.4 megabytes a second which is very slow. If you have a high-end card, it may be a little faster. Just let it sit, it'll install the operating system for us. So we're getting close to finishing up this install. It's gonna automatically reboot into Cano OS for us. There's gonna be a few on-screen prompts you need to follow. You need to put in your name, type in a few things. It'll tell you exactly what to do, but this operating system is amazing. So when it's done installing, it will automatically reboot. Get ready, Cano is starting up. So I fast forwarded the initial setup. Just follow the on-screen prompts and you'll be set up with Cano OS in no time. You'll be booted to the desktop. We should be getting there about now. And here's the main menu of Cano. So I made a video earlier on just showing you how to get through it. Very self-explanatory to set it up. Even though this operating system is marketed towards children, an adult can use this just as well. Now, if they've never used Linux before or they're very computer illiterate, this is a great start for them. 
They do sell a kit. It's $250, I believe. Now, I am in no way, shape, or form affiliated with Cano. I saw this operating system. I've been meaning to install it for a while now. I finally got around to doing it. And this is one of my top three favorite operating systems for the Raspberry Pi. I have tested tons and tons of operating systems. This is just such a cool interface. And it works very, very well. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. If you need any help, leave a comment down below and I'll try my hardest to get back to you. Like always, thanks for watching.